Hi guys, my name is Annie and welcome back to my channel, Teens Under Kids. I'm so excited for you guys to, for those who have decided to join me in this Bible study. And today is the first lesson um, that we're going to be doing for this Bible study. I hope you guys are having an awesome day and um, thank you guys for stopping by. So, I guess let's start. So today, we're going to be talking about two things. We're going to be talking about Mary's news, and we're going to be talking about the birth of Jesus. So, um, we're going to go over those two parts. So I guess I'm going to start reading. Mary's news. This is based on Luke 1 and 2 and Matthew 1 2. So what I'm going to be reading right now is being is a reference from the book of Luke chapter 1 and 2 and the book of Matthew 4 and 1 and 2. Also, his means during the reign of Herod, king of Jude, Judah, a young woman named Mary lived in the town of Nazareth in Galilee. Mary was eagerly waiting for her forthcoming marriage to Joseph, a carpenter. One day, much to her great astonishment, the angel Gabriel appeared before her. Greetings, Mary, the angel said. Do not be afraid. I bring you, mo I bring you the most joyous news. You have been chosen by God to give birth to a son, and you will call him Jesus. Mary could not even begin to understand the angel Gabriel's word. How can I give birth to a son? She trembled when I am not yet married. The angel smiled at Mary. You will be filled with the Holy Spirit. Your son will be the son of God. He will, he will be great and his kingdom will last forever. Also, your cousin Elizabeth is going to have a child. And though she is old, you will see that nothing is impossible with God. So um, here we're seeing that um, Mary was visited by the angel Gabriel and that the angel Gabriel told her that she was going to have a child and that her um, and that her cousin Elizabeth was also going to have a child and that nothing is impossible with God. Let's keep reading. Mary bowed her head and rejoiced. When the angel Gabriel had left, she hurried to visit Elizabeth. As soon as Elizabeth heard Mary's news, the baby inside her leaped up for joy, and she knew that it too was blessed. Mary stayed with her for three months, and soon after she had left, Elizabeth gave birth to a boy named John. As we know, John the Baptist. Um, next. Um, the Imperial Augustus passed a law that count be made of every person in the Roman Empire. So people throughout Palestine had to return to their town to be registered. Joseph set off with his young, young wife, Mary, to his hometown of Bethlehem in Judas. No, in Judea. It was a long, tiring journey from, from Nazareth to Bethlehem. So Mary and Joseph, um, they were living in Nazareth, but they had to go to Bethlehem because that's what the government had ordered because they were having kind of like a count of the population of the people. So they needed to go to their home city. Mary, who was soon to give birth, traveled on a donkey. When at last they arrived in Bethlehem, they found the town full of people who had also come to register. The next page is the birth of Jesus. And this is referenced on Matthew 1, 2 and Luke 2. So the birth of Jesus. When Mary and Joseph arrived in Bethlehem, the streets were crowded full. Joseph was anxious to find a room quickly, for he knew that Mary's child would soon be born. At last, Joseph found a place for them to shelter, a cave. 
a cave where a family kept their animals. Meanwhile, men in the east began to follow a bright new star they had found in the sky. They were very excited. A new star was the sign a king had been born. In the dark and cold of night, Mary g gave birth to baby Jesus. She wrapped him she wrapped him in strips of cloth, laid him in a manger where the animals fed. Up in the sky, a star shined brightly to mark the arrival of the Lord. Out in the fields, shepherds were tending their flocks. Suddenly, an angel appeared. Do not be afraid, said the angel. I have news that will bring great joy to you all mankind today in bethlehem a savior has been born who is christ save who is christ the lord you will find him wrapped in clothes and laying in a manger just then the sky was filled with a host of angels singing their praises to god the shepherds set off quickly towards Bethlehem, where they found a stable and the baby lying in the manger. They stood in wonder and worshipped the new Messiah. When the wise men from the east reached Jerusalem, they asked, Where is the child who has been born king of the Jews? New news of the wise men search had reached King Herod who was filled with alarm to hear that the new king had been born. His priest had told him about an ancient prophecy that foretold that Christ would be born in the city of Bethlehem. Herod sent, sent for the wise man. As soon as you find this new king, he said, report to me so that I too may go worship him. The wise men followed on the star until at last it stopped over the place where Jesus was staying. When they saw him, they bowed down and worshipped him. They presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and mirth. Then the wise men set off for home, but having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned by a different route. Route. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little reading. Um, it's the first time I'm like reading it completely because I had to read it first to like make sure I wanted to read it to you guys. But it's like the first time I'm reading it carefully, and I am honestly loving it. I think it's really nice. Um, I love how it takes us like through the story and it like allows us to read i also really love the imagery like the pages they're so like beautiful and bright and the photos are just like so nice um i hope you guys were able to watch them too because i'm trying out like this new like um option that you guys would see like the picture right here so i hope you guys were able to see that um i really liked it what we learned today was um so we're gonna go over the key points that we learned today. So first off, we learned that Mary was told by the angel Gabriel that she was going to have a baby. And so was to have a baby. And that Elizabeth, her cousin, was too going to have a baby named John, which we know as John the Baptist. Then it said that um, John was born after Mary had visited her. Then, um, by the government's rules, they were having like a count of the population. So um, Mary and Joseph had to go, had to leave Nazareth, and they had to, and they had to go to Bethlehem um, to have like the government counting. Um, then Mary needed then Mary needed a place to have the baby and she had him in a little cave well it's obviously never like really known where it is but some people say like it was a cave some people say it was like a little farm um, but 
all we know is that Jesus was born in a manger next to a lot of animals. And that the shepherds and the sh the shepherds came first because they were announced by the angels, and then um, the wise men uh, were told by the king Herod to go and find them. But then and to go and find them. But then they they so then they were led by the star to go find the new king. Um, and then Herod was like really mad, so that's why he wanted to know where the king was. He didn't actually want to go and praise the king. He actually wanted to like destroy him because he was a king at that time, and he was like jealous that people were saying that there was a new king. Um, so he wanted to like kill that baby. So, but then thankfully the wise men were wise, and they noticed that they actually that they actually um, were not supposed to tell the king, so they didn't. So I hope you guys enjoyed this um, like really quick, um, like I hope you guys are enjoying this Bible study. I'm enjoying it, I think it's like really nice. Um, I hope to see you guys in the next video, because in the next video, we're going to be going over the next two, we're going to be going over the next two chapters, which is, the boy Jesus and Jesus is tested. So we're going to see those two chapters. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video and give it a big thumbs up. I hope you guys comment down below if you guys remember. If you guys remember what were the three gifts what were the three gifts that the um that the wise man men gave Jesus? So comment down below if you remember the three gifts. And obviously you can replay this video, but try to see if you remember. And then if you don't, well you can replay it. I uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.